This equation is an example of quadratic form. It has the three terms and in this case it's equal to zero. Um, so if you see something weird like this, get it equal to zero and see if there are three terms um, and see if it has a certain pattern between the middle term and uh, the last term. What we're going to do to solve it, since it looks a little strange, is I'm going to do something called u substitution. I'm going to let u equal the middle variable, not the entire middle term, but just the middle variable, this x to the uh, one-third. So I'm going to let u equal x raised to the one-third power. What I'm going to do to this uh, little equation is I'm going to square both sides. So that's going to give me u squared is equal to now remember, power to a power, you're going to multiply, and 2 times 1 third is going to give us x to the 2 thirds. This method will work if this variable expression is the same as the first variable expression up here. We're not worried about the coefficients, we're just talking about the variable expression. So we can use this method, and what happens is wherever I see x to the 2 thirds, I'm going to replace it with u squared. Wherever I see x to the one-third, I'm going to replace it with just plain old u. And I have this new equation in terms of u, but we can at least solve it. This is definitely a quadratic. Factors of 12 to subtract up to 1 would be well, 4 and 3. Lead coefficients 1, so we can do a nice little quick factor on this. And we'll end up with uh, u minus 4 and u plus 3. So if we solve this, we're going to eventually find that u is equal to 4 and u is equal to uh, negative 3. That's great, except for one problem. We're not trying to solve this for u, we're really trying to solve it for x. So we have to kind of go back to this little line right here, where u is equal to x to the one-third, and rewrite our um, equations appropriately. So wherever you see u, now we're going to go back to x to the one-third is equal to 4. And also x to the one-third is equal to uh, negative 3. All right, now to get rid of the one-third power, what we're going to do is raise both sides to the third power. So we're going to cube this side and cube this side. And the first equation is going to tell me that x is equal to 64. So that becomes one of our solutions. And again, down here we're going to raise both sides uh, to the third power to get rid of that one-third power. And what we'll find is uh, here we'll have x is equal to uh, negative 3 cubed, which is negative 27. So for this one we're going to have two solutions where x is either 64 or it's negative 27. And we're done.